guys. driving vlog this week because we are not gonna have any vlog footage this week it's currently wednesday at 3 46 p.m and we have literally zero vlog footage so i decided that i was just gonna do a driving vlog because i knew that the rest of the week we weren't gonna get do anything worth vlog getting vlog footage worth vlogging that's what i meant to say so i figured i'd just do a driving vlog in place of a weekly vlog this week i hope you guys don't mind but sometimes you just gotta do that <laughs> so um this week we are staying at my grandparents house so if you don't like watch us regularly or whatever my family is moving so um our house goes on the market this friday which today is wednesday so on friday it goes on the market and my we are staying at my grandparents house right now because um we did because our house was i'm getting like so many texts so i hope nothing important is happening um what was i saying oh yes we just our house goes on the market on friday and so we have been at my grandparents house this whole week and we're going to stay at my grandparents house until the house sells because um this this past monday we had our carpets cleaned and we have three dogs if you don't watch us regularly so my mom didn't want the dogs on the carpets after they were cleaned since we're selling the house and um which makes perfect sense so she was like i don't know what we're gonna do so she decided we were just gonna stay at my grandparents house because that way the dogs wouldn't be there and then we also wouldn't be there because it's really hard to like live in your house and still keep it spotless and we also like have nothing at our house anymore like very minimal furniture and like some decor is all that's really left at our house right now so we decided to just um move out of it until it sells so that that way when people are coming to see it and like all of that it just won't be like a mess and it won't be like as stressful we won't have to like frantically like go and get all the dogs and go somewhere for the whole day or anything like that so that's what we're doing so we are currently at my grandparents house for an unknown amount of time but our house is on the market on monday or i mean on friday <laughs> So, and, um, so the, that's why we're not going to have any vlog footage because we've literally, like, not been doing anything. Like, we've just been hanging out at my grandparents' house and, like, I mean, obviously they've been going to school and work and stuff, but, like, other than that, we haven't been doing anything. So, I was, like, I'm not going to even bother, like, trying to vlog. So, hopefully, because I'm assuming next week we will still be in my grandparents' house unless I'll sell this weekend. That would be a miracle, but, um because we'll probably still be at my grandparents house I'm just going I don't know what we're gonna do next week as far as a vlog goes but um yeah so that stay tuned for next Sunday when I don't know what we're gonna be doing because I didn't really think that through honestly so <laughs> but um yeah, so I decided to just do a driving vlog. I feel like I haven't done, I am like peeling. Why did I get sunburned? I haven't even been out in the sun. So like, and I don't even get sunburned. I feel like I'm peeling. Um, so I figured, I haven't, I haven't really done a driving vlog in a really long time. When's the last time I did a driving vlog? Um, I don't remember. So I figured I would just do one because I really like doing driving vlogs. So right now I'm going to Starbucks. It's currently 3.50 in the afternoon and I'm going to Starbucks later today Leanna's going Leanna's going to babysit right now she's my sister I feel like it's really hard to vlog sometimes because like you just have to like hope that new people just like watch enough vlogs to understand what you're talking about when you like say certain things because if not then like if this is your first time ever watching a video of mine you have no idea what I'm talking about but like so then I feel like every time I say Leanna I have to explain who that is but like if you've been watching me you know who Leanna is so I don't need to explain it so I just don't know what to do but Leanna is my sister my other sister and she's going to babysit right now she's actually behind me right now probably like wondering why I'm talking because <laughs> she's going to babysit but um our best friend Shaylin is coming over tonight to my grandparents house to sleep over and then she's going to be there and hang out with us tomorrow because we haven't seen her in so long well that's not true we just saw her like a couple weeks ago we had a cookout with her but um she goes away to school 
at like a wait for college and so she's obviously home for a summer break now so we just like haven't really been hanging out with her like Shaylin is used to be like well she still is like our best friend but like we used to be so close we used to hang out all the time she was like literally lived at our house practically it was kind of like like just like our whole family knew her like my parents called her like their um fourth daughter like their fifth child because she just was at our house all the time she came to all family gatherings and everything with us and then like um as we got older and like we started getting jobs and stuff we just stopped seeing each other as much she stopped sleeping over as much and staying with us and going to things with us and then she went away to school so then obviously this whole like past year she's been away at school so we haven't like gotten to really like see her that often so now that she's home we were like we need to hang out because she's been home for like um, like three weeks now and we've seen her one time and we were like we really need to hang out but obviously we don't have a house well we have a house but like we're living with my grandparents and then Shaylin's house actually like burned down they didn't her garage burned down so she, like last week so she's been out of her house and in a hotel until her insurance can put her in a temporary home because obviously if your house burns down you can't really live in it so um we were like she texted us the other day and she was like I really want to hang out but like I don't really want to spend money like because all of us like we all have jobs but like none of us really want to like spend money like we are the three of us like she looks like always broke and then Leanna and I are just very like cheap with our money cheap can you be like cheap with your money like we're just really like frugal <laughs> like we just don't really like to spend our money that much so we were like I don't know what we could do because like we don't want to go somewhere because we don't want to spend our money and then we're we're all like homeless basically <laughs> like we don't have like our houses so but my grandparents are really nice so they are letting her come over so I'm excited for that to hang out with her because like I said we just never get to even see her anymore and it's kind of like sad because she literally was like our other sister like we saw her all the time and now we just like don't see her anymore so yeah that's exciting and then tomorrow night I have to work so that's annoying and so this weekend is Memorial Day weekend and we are actually staying with my aunt and uncle and their kids this weekend because originally when we first were like okay we're gonna put our house on the market we um weren't gonna move out of it at all while it was selling and everything but my mom was like well that first weekend that it's on the market let's just see if we can stay with them so that like we don't have to worry about it like all the people coming to see it and everything as much so we already had plans to stay with them and then my mom was like actually we're gonna move in with um, our grandparents so that's why we're like leaving this weekend to go stay with someone else and then coming right back to my grandparents it's kind of weird and like a waste of time but like it's fine because like we don't want to like cancel with them plus like my mom really wants to stay with them so like and everyone was like excited about it to like spend the holiday weekend together so we're still doing that but um yeah so on Friday morning I work and then we're going up there and they actually live where we're moving to which is about 40 minutes away so that'll be fun and we're gonna go so on Saturday I work and then on Sunday, we're gonna go see some houses that we're like looking at houses, obviously now since our house will be on the market. So I'm really excited about that. I'm super excited to look at houses and see like what um, kind of houses we're like gonna like buy. <laughs> sometimes I just say the weirdest thing. Like I just don't form my thoughts properly sometimes. Um, yeah, so that's exciting. So I'm excited for that. And then Monday is Memorial Day. So I don't work. So I actually have, a um I don't have a three-day weekend because I was thinking I had Saturday off but I don't but I have like Monday off so that's nice but I it also kind of sucks because then next Saturday is Caitlin's dance recital and so I took off for that obviously but so the way <laughs> so my work schedule I can my availability is Monday mornings Tuesday mornings or Tuesday evenings whichever my manager wants to schedule me for and then I'm off Wednesdays and then Thursday mornings or evenings and then Friday mornings and then all day Saturday so normally what I'll work is Monday morning Tuesday evening off Wednesday and Thursday or off Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday evening depending and then Friday morning and all day Saturday or I'll work Monday morning Tuesday and Thursday evening and Friday morning and then be off Saturday so I hope that makes sense but because this Monday is Memorial Day and I'm not working obviously um I'm not gonna like have that and then so I and then I took off this Saturday so I have like only like 16 hours this week I think next week I think which kind of sucks but that's what happens when holidays come around and then also dance recitals so it's not really anyone's fault but my own <laughs> but 
it's not really even my own fault but yeah so that kind of like part of me is like oh good like if you guys work do you know the feeling of like you're so happy when you have like a lot of days off or you don't work that many hours in a week because like going to work is really not that fun but you also are like mad because you're like great now I'm not gonna make any money because that's how I am like whenever I have weeks where I like for whatever reason I only end up working like 15 hours because I work like 20 to 25 is what I ask for so whenever I've weeks and I only work and I'm working like 15 hours I'm like so like Ugh, like and now I'm gonna be broke but I'm also like but I don't have to go to work so it's like a win-lose situation but yeah so that's what's going on in my life I kind of just the driving vlog like it doesn't really have a point I kind of just wanted to like talk to you guys since I wasn't having any vlog to upload this week plus of all the time you guys will comment and say that you love hearing me talk and that just makes me really happy because I love talking and like the weird thing is that I have social anxiety so like I don't talk to people like it I like I said it's anxiety like I literally have anxiety like I get anxiety anxiety attacks I don't think that's a thing but like I get like panic attacks like low-key if I like have to talk to people I'm not comfortable with like I'm not a people person I'm not a social person but I do love to talk to you guys and I don't know like people have, are always like I don't understand how you're like so shy and quiet and like scared to talk to people in real life but then you'll like just talk to a camera with no problem and upload it to the video for like any or upload it to the video upload it to the internet for anyone to see and like have no problem with that and I like honestly don't know how that makes any sense either I think it's just because like right now like I'm just talking to my phone so like it's not like I'm like actually like having conversation with people I don't know but yeah but whenever you guys comment and say that you actually like like to hear me talk because I feel like I ramble so much and I'm always like so apologetic like I'm so sorry you guys are probably so bored but then a lot of you guys will be like no like I love hearing Kylie talk and stuff and like that just makes me really happy because then I feel like I'm not boring you guys which is great so thank you guys so much if you watch my videos and just wa listen to me ramble about the most random things for like ever because you guys let me do what I love to do so just kind of like I was saying in this driving vlog I didn't really have a point I try to when I do driving vlogs have like a topic I'm gonna talk about or something but um and this one I just was like nah I'm just gonna talk like about what's going on and stuff because I don't really have anything I want to talk about I considered doing a driving vlog all about like my social anxiety and like what's that what that's like and my experience with that and everything um but I don't know for sure if I want to do that so comment down below if you guys want me to do that because if you want me to I will do it but I don't know if anyone would be interested in it so yeah just let me know if you guys want me to do that but yeah so let's see what else random what other randomness can I talk about so it's summer for me um I don't know if you guys are still in high school or like middle school or whatever I don't know probably a lot of you are still on summer break now but a lot of you probably aren't Caitlin and Caitlin is still not on summer break she gets out the June like 18th or something I think like they get out late but um I got out on May 4th so I've been out for a while actually and I don't have to go back because I actually it was just finished getting my associate's degree and um I'm not going back for my bachelor's because I decided I'm doing dog grooming and for dog grooming you don't really need like a college degree so I got my associate's degree because I didn't really know what I was doing at the time when I first graduated high school so I was like well I'm just gonna go to community college get my associate's, associate's degree in general studies for a brief moment I was gonna do graphic design but then I changed my mind about that so um yeah so I did that and then I decided probably about a year ago that I was going to just do dog grooming because if you don't know I work at a dog daycare and I love my job and I love working with dogs and I just have so much fun with it and I, so I really wanted a career working with animals like I kind of realized that specifically dogs and then I considered being like a vet tech but then I was like no because that requires like to know about medicine and like science and like I know as a vet tech like you don't need to know that as much as like a vet would but like still it just seemed like a lot of work and I just wasn't that into it and also I the, only, the other reason I didn't want to be a vet tech is because I do not like it that dogs have to die and so if I had to be the person literally putting them to sleep that would literally 
kill me inside. So I was like, no, I cannot handle that. Like I cannot handle just being around sick dogs. Like the dogs coming in for their like yearly checkups or whatever, for sure. But when dogs come in because they're sick, injured or dead, d d what? Or dying? Mm -mm. I didn't want to deal with that. So I was like, nope, not for me. So I decided not to be a vet tech. So then I decided to do dog grooming. And dog grooming is like a weird field, I feel like, because you can either make no money or a lot of money with dog grooming, I feel like. And um, I know if you work at like the big corporate places like PetSmart and Petco, you make like probably like no money. I haven't looked that much into it, which I really should do. But um, you make like not bad, you don't really make that good of money. But um, if you like eventually can own like your own business doing it, then you can make so much money. And that's really what I wanna do. I don't wanna own like a business and like have like employees and like a store location and all of that, but I'd really like to just to be like, like a independent dog groomer and like either go to people's houses or have people come to me and like groom their dogs. And then I can just like take all of their money and I don't have to give any of it to like the corporation I work for because I won't work for a corporation and I feel like in that with that you can make a ton of money doing that I know my parents like my mom knows someone who does dog grooming and she says she makes really good money and then my grandma was also saying that like people because like people like working with dogs people will pay so much money for their dogs you guys like it's literally ridiculous how much money people will spend on their dogs and so um I, so my grandma was saying how like oh yeah like you can make so much money like my aunt does watches dogs like she does dog sitting and she makes so much money she calls this one dog she watches granite not because that's its name but because that dog single-handedly paid for her to have her granite countertops put in like that's how much money people will spend for their dogs and so I feel like with dog grooming especially if I can eventually work up to doing it like independently I can make a lot of money doing that like or at least like a good amount of money like I'm not gonna be a millionaire but like I can make a good amount of money doing that and I also could set my own hours and all of that kind of stuff which would be great because I also want to stay doing YouTube and social media that's honestly my dream and if I could make it really big on doing YouTube I would totally do that and like not do dog grooming because that's really what I want to do and what I love to do I love YouTube I love filming I love editing I love talking to you guys like I said and just social media in general so if that's if I could make it doing that I would do that but if I can't make it doing just like relying solely on social media then um I feel like dog grooming is a good field because I can make my own hours and that way I can make sure I also have time to do YouTube on the side just as a hobby because I don't whether I'm making money from it or not I still want to do it like obviously we make like no like next to nothing off of this channel but like I still love to do it and it's coming up on five years since we created this channel which is crazy and we make like nothing but like I still love to do it and Caitlin loves to do it and stuff so like we're not like in it for the money I'm just saying like if I could make money doing just YouTube I 100% would because I love it so much I think it's so much fun but yeah so that's what I'm doing so I actually like I was saying <laughs> finished my associate's degree this past couple like a couple weeks ago and got my associate's in general studies so that's exciting and then um this way also if I do want to go back and get my bachelor's for whatever reason it's like going to be really easy because I have all my like gen eds already done so I don't have to like worry about those and I can just like easily go back and like do another two years and finish up um getting my bachelor's if I wanted to but that's not in the plan for right now but yeah so I won't have to I won't be going back to school this fall which is the first time in my life well not the first time in my life but the first time since I started school that that's happening and so that's really exciting um yeah, so I'm really excited about that. So I'm really excited that it's summer, too. We have so many fun plans this summer, I feel like. Um, I feel like it's a good summer. We are obviously moving. Hopefully, we will be in our new house by July. So I'm really, like, like in July. We'll get into our new house in July, hopefully. Um, so I'm really excited about that because I'm super excited. At, my, at our old house, or like our current house, I guess, we, um, I share a room with my sister Leanna and I hate sharing a room with her and I've shared a room with her since I was like eight years old. So Leanna and I have shared a room like pretty much our whole lives as long as we, like we've had our separate rooms for a very short amount of time in the time we've been alive. And um, so I'm really excited because when we move we're most likely getting our own rooms. Like, like 99% sure we're going to be getting our own rooms. So I'm really excited to have my own room and to be able to decorate it and everything. So that's coming up this summer obviously when we move and that's really exciting and then um 
and then also we are going to a lot of concerts this summer so in june on the 24th i think we have harry styles and i'm so excited to see harry and then on july 3rd we are seeing sam smith and then on august sometime in august i can't remember the exact date we are seeing Niall Horan. So I'm very excited for that because I love going to concerts. And um and then oh oh don't hit this car, Kylie, please. <laughs> oh, that was really scary. Okay, hold on. I just got to Starbucks. So I'm gonna go get my drink and then I'll come back. You know you go to Starbucks too much when you walk in and the barista goes, Oh hey Kylie, already put your drink into the register because they know you and what you get every time. Ventias Caramel Macchiato, by the way, in case this is your first ever video you're watching of mine and you've never seen me go to Starbucks, which I go to Starbucks very often. So, the same one. And I love this Starbucks, even though it's farther away from my house than like any other Starbucks. I literally drove past a Starbucks to get to this Starbucks because I love them at this Starbucks. So, Literally, even when we move, I'm still, like, gonna drive the hour back here just to come to the Starbucks because I love it so much. But, um, yeah. As I was saying, fun things we're doing this summer. So, we're going to those three concerts, and then we're also going to the beach in August, which I'm so excited about. I'm trying to decide if we're gonna do a weekly vlog that week or if we're gonna do daily vlogs that week. I'm leaning more towards daily vlogs, but I also know that when you're, like, like you would think like oh you're going to the beach so you're gonna have so much to vlog which is true but Kaylin and I are not the best vloggers and so we often just forget to pick up the camera and especially Kaitlyn but me too so I don't know if we'll be able to get enough vlog footage to do daily vlogs every single day that we're there so we might do like two or three vlogs and just like combine a couple days I don't really know yet so comment down below what you guys want us to do if you want us to try to do daily vlogs or if you'd rather us just do a weekly vlog um and we will do that Either way, we're gonna definitely vlog, and I'm very excited for that because going to the beach is so much fun, and then going with Shaylin will be so much fun. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. So those are our plans for this summer, and I feel like we're gonna just have a really good summer. Um, and then besides that, I'm working, obviously, I'm working part-time this summer because I didn't wanna work full-time because this is the last summer of my life that I'm not gonna have to like work full-time, so I just decided not to because I don't pay for anything but my car and my phone, so I don't need to work full-time because even after paying for my car on my phone, I still have money left over because I'm really good with my money, like I said, except with Starbucks. But I did give myself a budget on Starbucks, a weekly budget of how much I can spend. It allows me to get four drinks. And so I've kind of managed that a little bit, but uh, yeah, I, I overspend on Starbucks and planner stickers, but like, that's fine, it's fine. Other than that, I don't spend my money that much, so. I literally, I literally almost hit a bus trying to do that so note to self don't start fixing the camera when you're driving because you will hit a bus and that would not be good um it's just like a normal like around town bus it's not a school bus so i don't know if the fines for that are as severe but also i'm driving past a gas station right now and like can we talk about how expensive gas is getting right now it's literally 285 a gallon and like that's not okay like it's about to be three dollars a gallon why is that happening like i am not okay with that so like are you guys also like having that problem where you live i'm pretty sure it's like a national problem right now like gas prices are just like rising so much i remember years ago when they got up to like over four dollars a gallon i didn't drive at the time but i don't know why or how people were paying that much for gas like i would have just started running everywhere or something like I would have gone on a bike I don't even know that's just so ridiculous like if it gets up that expensive again I don't know what I'm gonna do because I cannot afford that and now I'm gonna be living so much farther away from work and I'm gonna like be putting using so much more gas and like four dollars a gallon like that's like literally would cost me forty dollars to fill my tank like over forty dollars like that's not okay I'm just very not okay with that <laughs> you know what is new guys Shawn Mendes his album is coming out in two days it comes out on Friday and I'm so excited and then he's touring next year which I'm so mad that he's waiting until next year to tour I just feel like he should start it this summer because I just have to wait until next August to see him we bought the tickets to see him 
next August, but that's just so far away. That's literally over a year away. And that was the same thing when we bought Harry Styles tickets. We bought them last June, and then his concert is this June. So, like, we literally bought them a year in advance. And it's just, like... But I actually feel like it didn't even take that long for, like, it to be June. Like, for the... For, like, like, the concert's literally in a month. And, like, I feel like we just bought the tickets. Like, it didn't feel like it was a whole year. So, that's kind of crazy. But... So, hopefully, it'll be the same way with Shawn Mendes. Because I'm just so freaking excited to see him in concert again. Oh, my God. This whole time, it's been my aunt driving behind me. I feel so embarrassed. Oh, I just hit the curb. Peace, love, and ladybugs. Bye, guys. Love and ladybugs. Peace, love and ladybugs. Peace, love and ladybugs. Peace, love and ladybugs. Peace,